hey, it's time to dissect our Hello World code. Much exciting. Okay, now uh, what are these things? Well, those are what's called a assembler directives. And those directives are just special information to tell the assembler on how to produce the machine code. For example, these section directives, they are used to tell the assembler on which section all these codes supposed to be put into. So after a section directive, everything that is below it will be put into that section. Here is an examination of the section using object dump. You can see both section, the dot data and the dot text section. You might realize that in the text section, the assembly code might look different than the one that we wrote. That is because our assembler did some optimization under the hood. Meanwhile, the assembly code for the data section just doesn't look right, which you can just ignore because in the data section, we didn't actually specify an actual instruction. We only stored the string hello world into that location. That's why the disassembly of the data section doesn't actually make any sense. But in the content list, we can clearly see that it is just the string hello world. Okay, you might be confused on what I meant by actual instructions, because in the assembly file, you can clearly see this thing here. It looks like an instructions, right? But it's actually not. It is what you call a pseudo instruction. It is not part of the instruction set architecture of your CPU. It's only made available through NASM. And this DB instruction, it just tells the assembler that you're gonna initialize data of size byte into this location. What is that location, you might ask? Well, the location of any instruction will be the offset from the section it is defined. So, for example, if we reassemble our code with this command, then open the file hello.lst, you'll see that each instruction has a corresponding column displaying the offset from the section and the opcode for the instruction. Like here, the move instruction takes 5 bytes, while the hello world strings takes 12 bytes. That include this 10 here, which just translate to the line feed ASCII character. But that's strange. If this string has a size of 12 bytes, then how could you use the pseudo instruction db that is meant to only initialize a data of size byte? Well, that's because a string is treated as a collection of character constants, which make this instruction equal to this instruction. Then this instruction is actually just a compact form of these instructions. Side note, you can actually use the db sudo instruction to replace any instructions. For example, I can replace this move instruction using the db sudo instruction and set the operand equal to these hacks here which is the hex representation of our move instruction. Then if we reassemble our code, it'll work just like previously. All right, that's uh, a lot. I'll continue on the next video. Goodbye.